Hello and welcome to CASPIO. In this video, I will demonstrate CASPIO's Data Hub feature. So what is Data Hub? CASPIO Data Hub gives you the ability to create scheduled tasks to automatically import and export data to and from your CASPIO account. So what's needed to implement Data Hub? To use the Data Hub feature, you will need a professional account or hire. Let me show you a live example of how we use the Data Hub to automatically append sales data via scheduled tasks. Here's a table that contains regional sales data, and as you can see, I only have 10 entries inside this table. I have already created my report data page that displays all 10 of these records on the web. And just for fun, I have also enabled a chart that ranks regions from highest to lowest in terms of revenue. Now what I would like to do is import a new data set to Caspio to automatically feed that new data into this report. Here's an Excel file that contains additional 375 sales entries, and what I would like to do is append this data set to my Caspio table so that I can display these new entries on the report. In this video, I'll be using Dropbox as my repository and giving Caspio access to my Dropbox account to import the file. So rather than importing this file manually directly from within Caspio, which is perfectly fine if that's your preference, I will upload the file to Dropbox first, which I've already done as you can see, then go back to Caspio and under Tools and Scheduled Tasks, import the new data by clicking on the Run Now link. Now before I do that, let me show you how to configure the Data Hub first. To set up the task, what you need to do is click on the link for New Task. And then you want to specify if you wish to import the data into Caspio or if you want to export the data. In this case, we want to import the data from the Dropbox account, so we're going to select the top radio button. Then you have to connect to a site. When you click on the drop down, if you don't have a site created, you need to create a new site. And then you're going to select the site type. Now, Caspio gives you a lot of different ways and different repositories that you can connect to. In our example today, we're going to use Dropbox, but you can just as easily use any of the other ones that Caspio provides. You can use FTP, which is also a very popular option. You can connect to Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, and Amazon. Once you select your type, then you want to authorize Caspio to gain access to your account. So by clicking on this button, and then clicking on allow, you're basically giving Caspio access to go and log in into your Dropbox account. Then give your site a name. Let's just call it sales data. The next step is to add the file path or directory to where that folder is and the file name that's inside the folder. Now, if I look inside my Dropbox account, you will see that this is my folder name. I can go ahead and grab a copy of that and just paste it like this. And then what I need to do is just add my file name after that. And I can actually include that down below. I can say salesdata.xlsx. And when you're done, simply just click on Test Connection. It looks good. Then click Next to move on to the next screen. And once Caspio finds that file, it's going to allow you to go to the next screen. From here, you want to be able to set your action on what you want to happen when you run that task. So for example, I want to append the new data to my table that I have inside Caspio. So this is the table that contains those 10 entries. So I want to append the new data in my Dropbox account to that table. Click Next one more time. We're going to hit Next here. And finally, here you can set the frequency, how often you want Caspio to go into your Dropbox account to perform this update. You can set this to be monthly, weekly, daily. You do have some other options here. So for example, if you set it to daily, and let's run this task maybe at 2 o'clock in the morning, and we want to run that task every day. So what's going to happen is Caspio is going to go to your Dropbox account every single day at 2 o'clock in the morning. Caspio is going to append that new data to your table inside Caspio automatically. And when you're done, all you need to do is click on Finish to save your changes, and you will have created that task. Now, I'm not going to click Finish because I already have this task created, so I'm just going to click Cancel. There's my existing task. All I need to do is click on this link Run Now because I want to fetch the data right away 
or I can allow for the automatic process to happen at 2 o'clock in the morning. So you do have two options here. If you need the data on demand to fetch the data right there and then, you can click on this link, or you can let the task happen at whatever time you specified. So let's run this task on demand. When the task is completed, you will see this arrow for verification. Now all you need to do to verify that the data is imported, you can either refresh the report, and you can see how the chart has been updated, and I'm also looking at 385 records inside this report. I can also go to my table, and when I open the table, I should be able to see all of those entries. So that's the power of Data Hub, to do all the behind the scenes work for us so that we don't have to manually import the data ourselves. Thanks for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, give us a quick call. For the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio, then keep it right here on our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.